First, you'll need one by two inch pieces of wood, wood glue, a hammer, and nails. Glue one of the thin edges of the wood to a thick edge to make an L shape. This will help keep the frame from warping and make it more sturdy. Hammer and nail every foot of the wood to keep it together while it dries. Then you want to cut the wood at a 45 degree angle on all edges with a thin point on the ends. You can either do this with a chop saw or hand saw in a miter box. The length does not matter as long as the two opposing pieces are the same length. Mark the ends of the wood about a quarter inch from the edge and drill a pilot hole for your screw. Put your edges together to create a 90 degree angle and continue the pilot hole into the second piece of wood. Then apply wood glue to the edges. and screw the pieces together. Repeat this for every corner. Next, you'll need a staple gun to strengthen the join in the corners of the frame. You will need canvas to cover your frame. Spread out the canvas and put your frame on top of it. Make sure that you have a few inches on each side. You can cut off any excess. Pull the canvas tight and staple it in the middle. Continue doing this on each opposing side, making sure that the canvas is tight. Now, circle your way around the canvas, stapling as you go to make sure that it is secure everywhere. You may need to cut off excess fabric on the corners. Then fold down one side against the corner and the other edge at a 45 degree angle so that the edges meet at a straight line on the corner. Fold over the excess fabric on the top and staple everything into place, making sure to keep the canvas tight. Add staples to any loose sections. To finish your canvas, you will need to gesso it to prime it for painting. Add two coats and make sure it is even. Once it is dry, you are ready to paint your masterpiece.